I don't know the connection with that to that of um, T Flow and Medical, but I have T Flow on the line, so we'll be joined by him and then we'll pick <laughs> quick touch from him. So, hello. Hello, T Flow. What's good? What's good? Bro, how are you? Um, <clears throat> Everything cool, though. I'm not doing my thing. What's up? You're chilling in the cold, I hear. Charlie, <laughs> it's freezing, but we did. Mm. So, when are you coming down? Hello? Yeah, come again, please. When are you coming down? Um, As soon as things cool off properly, you know, everything is safe. Um, I would I would make my way back home because my feet are... Mm. Okay. Uh, you and Medica, what is happening? Um, in one of the tweets, I am told, you said you're hitting the studios. Um, to record something. What are you intending to record and why? Um, I don't think I have, I have even time to waste on um, situations like this. Uh, what I can say is he made a post that um, I thought wasn't very encouraging. You know, if you look at the bigger picture, because you are someone that um, you you used to be very particular about the kind of music you put out and eventually you stopped doing that because you were you were making your own money so you didn't care about you know what you put into the art and fortunately for you the people are just resonating with their their their, their nya vibes you they do you know so if you put out there that um, people shouldn't try to don't try impress, don't stress yourself, don't look out for competition and all that. And mm. you know that's that's the reason why you are going to be stuck. You are talking to underground art. Me, as an artist, as a colleague artist, I should be able to also come in and tell the same underground artist that you know what, um, bro, tell this thing you they talk, you know, go help these guys. So I come in and say you know it's called passion for art not right. you know stressing your or anything like that and, mm. and if you don't want to do it you don't have to you know make other people feel like they need to win and some i noticed that some people didn't understand this because they felt like it wasn't my place to say because i wasn't the one that he was referring to mm. since he was talking to underground artists but my problem is um Ghanaians will be very the same people where if we day here where we hear say um sebi sebi tafrache france or mali or somewhere they have some disaster we all post it right mm. uh-huh so that doesn't mean that if it will be france or somewhere and 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 in in our account proverb they tell us that for Mm. You know, so sometimes situations doesn't necessarily have to be you to address it. You know, especially when you know that the younger generation coming are trying as, as they can to put out good music, regardless of the the bias, the sad industry we have. So I put that out as childish as he can be, as we all know. He came in back and forth. But then I was just breaking it down to him that, bro, if you want to do this, let's do this. Let's keep it live because I will, I'm not going to go back and forth with you on Twitter for no reason. Okay. And when it comes to writing, you are nowhere close to me. So don't even try it. Mm. Don't you think that is also a bit relative with regards to um, the point you are making, you know, people choosing the path they want to go as far as creative art is concerned or as far as lyrics is concerned but um quickly again when you say yeah is it the word is all nah right <laughs> what, what, what yeah. is it? Mm -hmm. yeah big shouts to hammer on that hammer right yeah no it means say like like it's no fat you know some no, some no sometimes fat. yeah in, in some of the things that some people they put out there you know they make any sense but you know we are in an industry where if you have money to promote your your stuff we don't care what stuff you are promoting we right. go just take up so um, yes, 
I'm, I'm interested uh, in this, that for you as a creative person, for you as an artist, uh, mm -hmm. do you, or are you worried sometimes that you would, you wake up in the morning thinking you need to get a hit song? What do you prefer more, a hit song or putting out lyrics that you, 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 you believe it's born out of passion? The question is, what is a hit song? Mm -hmm. And I think this is a conversation that we really need to break down. And um, I, am, I am actually planning on an um, IG live conversation with my colleague artists where we are going to share these topics and actually educate the public about it. Mm -hmm. Every song where they be, if we give it the airtime it needs, it is going to bang. Mm. There are certain songs that the minute you hear it, everybody say, mm, this is banger. Okay. Then that grows on you. That be banger too. Some songs, the, the first day you hear it, it doesn't do. But after a couple weeks in the club hearing it, you feel like, oh, now the song is the vibe. Right. It be banger too. So mm. I think good music is, is the best to go rather than trying to chase for a hit song. Okay. So my final question would be, um, at what length are you ready to go as far as this supposed beef is concerned? Um, personally, I am someone that I have my eyes on a prize. Flow Education 2 album is out now. It's mm -hmm. 12 songs. Before Flow Education 2, I released Road to Flow Education 2 EP. It was eight hip-hop songs. There's one of the songs in there that... I, I put out the message say Ghana rap will measure bars, don't be this will measure bars, bars as in B U Z Z will measure bars, don't be the song, not so near the man, Ghana rap, flow be the god, run your medical. I mentioned I said I've already put out that message. So if he feels that there's the need to come and tell his people that he is not a lazy rapper and wants to actually prove himself or wants wants to come at then I am willing to go everywhere he wants to go with it. Mm -hmm. But until then, for education two way to go. And I am going to, to use this opportunity to encourage the youngins that that stress yourself, that competition enters or that shouldn't be the mindset. But be who you want to be. That is what MDK should have. Just do them any way you want. Mm. If you go far, you go far. So, Clearly, this also means that this is uh, something you have been looking forward to for a long time because you've taken a dig at him in that um, road to, you know, your, 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 your album, but he's, he failed to respond. Isn't that the case? Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call it looking forward to. Looking forward to, it, it would be baseless for me to sit down and be looking forward to. Mm -hmm. No. The point is, it's facts. And when I state fact, it is my, my fact. If you think it's not true, it's your choice to comment on it or ignore it. It's okay. no problem. I have okay. put out my message. So I'm right. not looking forward to seeing or hearing anything from him. Okay. All right. Arnold, would you have a question for Kobe? Um, I mean, what I'll say is that um, he's a dope rapper. Mm -hmm. And you should just stick to what he's doing. Like, right. like he said, I mean, once you feel your passion, if you're not influenced by the outsiders, I think that... You can just keep going. Mm. Okay. I'm tempted to ask this, though, then we wrap up. Um, a lot of times when okay. you're, you're a creative person, you're looking also at how you're able to sustain your craft, i.e. how you rake in revenue. So mm. would you say confidently that whatever you are doing is bringing you the revenue that you need, although you might want more? I would definitely want more. I think that the pace that I am going is amazing and I love it. Every single growth is perfect and I love it. Right. So I will just continue working and I'll urge everybody to do the same. And in that time, you the dream it will come for us all. Kobe Che keeps saying it. Polish to you, you shine. That right. is keep doing Thank you very much, Tiflo. Thank you for your time this evening. Really appreciate God bless you. God bless you. All right, then. God Take bless care. You. Hope to see you in Ghana soon, though. Right, so that's Tiflo for us. Amen. Quickly. Um, you have said a lot, so let me just go to see? Arnold. Uh, his, his views.
uh, on the recent beef. Mm -hmm. Oh, we love beef. <laughs> uh, who doesn't love beef in this school? Uh, we love beef. Mm. We love it. Yeah. Yeah. Once, once it's a healthy beef, uh -huh. it, 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 it keeps the industry bubbly. All right. We, we love it. I don't know anybody, industry person, who doesn't love any healthy beef. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it generates a lot of excitement. And at the end of the day, it, it keeps the artist on a certain limelight. Mm -hmm. And that's all they need. Listen, hip hop is all about competition dominance clashing stars if i'm a hip-hop artist i can call out um, kobiche for his style and so t flow calling out medical for his lazy style or how he's been lazy recently is normal because it's a competition and so you go for your foe if you think the person is slacking in his delivery or in his business dealings go for him that's that's all about hip-hop right and so it is very much allowed you see, in the last two years, so within the space of two years, Medica has been involved in, let's say, three or so beefs. One with Strongman, mm -hmm. um, Eno, and then Tiflo. Mm -hmm. What it means is that, usually when you are on top, everybody would want to come at you. Right. It's, it's a normal phenomenon in, in hip-hop and music. So this is a determiner that Medica is on top. Of course, in the last two years, he's been banging. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, you cannot dispute that fact. He's, right. he's been on top with the likes of Sarko there, and he's even in the contention for Artist of the Year, both for Three Music Awards and VGM. And so in the last two or three years, he's been on top. Consistency is key. Usually when you're on top, everybody would like to come at you, just like Sarkozy. Mm -hmm. Every team dog and, uh, would want to come at you. It's, it's a normal trait. And so it's allowed. But however, I think medical is not smart when it comes to beef or beefing. Mm. I think seriously, he lacks or he doesn't have the strategy when it comes to engaging in beefs. In one of his tweets, he talked about why he will not, after, after beefing Strongman, he will mm. not come to somebody who is lower than Strongman, and that's mm. Tiflo. That's a fact. Mm. That's a fact. What because are you saying? Alan? In terms of popularity, mm -hmm. in, terms of, in terms of dominance, mm -hmm. in the last two years again, mm -hmm. Tiflo cannot be compared to medical. Again, that's not indisputable. He, so when he no the comparison that he wouldn't beef anybody below the level of strong in terms man. of popularity, mm -hmm. in terms of relevance, mm -hmm. in terms of dominance, right? Again, it's, has strong man not risen when it comes to relevance, dominance, and popularity than Tiflo mm. in the last day or two? Okay. Yes. So when he talks about he not wanting to come below strong man, he's right, because when we gauge the popularity scale, Tiflo is here, strong man is there. Mm -hmm. But I see his mistake is now beefing has moved from just going to the studio to social media. Mm -hmm. So you can actually beef on social media. And then the likes of Kobiche, myself, we will pick their stories up and we'll blow it out of proportion. Mm -hmm. So in his medical <laughs> head, no, seriously, that's that's uh -huh. because now in the last 10 years, right, hip hop artists do not necessarily have to go to the studio and record their songs. They sit in the comfort of their homes and they beef on Twitter, they beef on Instagram, they beef on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So we, we we've been missing that beefing you know culture when it comes to let's trade lyrical jobs right we've, seriously we've been missing in the last 10 years because they sit and they they, they, bash, or they are they are beefing on twitter that's also beef so in medical's mind he's thinking well i'm not walking to the studio to do a day song for you and so i'm not giving you the leverage i'm not giving them money but he's making a mistake once you are Going back and forth, the person on Twitter, you are beefing. Mm -hmm. So it's another beef on yes, its own. Yes, it's another beef on its own. So what he's doing is, you are giving the supposed person that is down, die. You are giving him attention. Right, but on and a different platform. You are still yes. giving him mm -hmm. attention. Because mind you, the person you are beefing has a project out. Mm -hmm. So he is enjoying it because one, you are up there. Two, he has a project that you are helping push. Mm -hmm. And listen, let's be fair. In the last three days, T flow has been mentioned virtually everywhere, every platform. And from last night or this morning, he was trending number one on Twitter. And medical wasn't trending. Yes, you see? And so, so when you are beefing, you are an artist and you are beefing another artist, it's all about strategy. Mm. This guy, if I beef him, will he help my career? Will he help him? Will he help a certain project that I'm pushing? Will he help a certain project he is pushing? So it's all about strategy. And so me, for me, I think medical should learn from Sarkozy. Boss, Sarkozy mm. will not beef anybody. Because everybody comes at him, but he will wait. The only mistakes I could do in boss, this one, <laughs> the only mistakes I could do in his beefing history mm. is to respond to uh, manifest. manifest. manifest.
big mistake. Because mm -hmm. at the time, Manifest was here, Sakode was there. By responding to Manifest, he came here. So it's all about strategy. Don't say you are beefing, you will not go to the studio, you are beefing. Mm. So then if you look at it in that context, yeah. then you would say that it's good for the industry. But that is what I said in my preamble. Mm. <laughs> that by the end of the day, it helps one than mm. the other. Right. So if you are an artist and you are up there, weigh your phone and see this guy. Once so, I beef him, I give him leverage, I give him money. Is, is that a way yeah. that medical could equally benefit from this beef? You have to see the point is if you are sitting up there, mm -hmm. boss, your eye must be on the price. Mm -hmm. If you want to beef somebody else, beef that we do, you know, mm -hmm. beef whiskey. That mm -hmm. way, it gives you that mileage into the international market. Right. But why would you want to beef somebody who is down there trying to cash trap up? Come on, no okay. straight to T flow, but come on. Man. Okay. All right then. So the let's. There's another issue we'd have to talk about. It's about funny face. But before we do that, this whole bit with Kwame Eugene uh, not wanting to or refusing to collaborate with Guru because Guru had had issues with Richie, who is the boss in the past. Somebody would ask, um, is it necessary? I don't know which of you would like Which one is necessary? <laughs> the, the refusal to collaborate with Guru. Well, it is necessary. Mm. Um, again, in this industry, even in normal life, loyalty and relationship, they count very much. Mm -hmm. And so it will, do, it will not make sense that Kwame Eugene is under Lynx. Lynx is supposed to have a problem or the managers of Lynx or the manager of Lynx or the CEO of Lynx mm -hmm. has a problem with Guru. Mm -hmm. And then Guru will turn back, eh, Kwame Eugene will turn back and say, let's work together. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. It, it, you will not do that. Your boss has a problem with somebody else. Because of loyalty, you are not supposed to go behind your boss's back and go work with that person. Mm. And so, in principle, Kwame Eugene was right. Because loyalty is key. Again, he, before you, any artist does a collaboration with another, it must go through a certain process. Mm -hmm. Because you must inform your label. Right. Ideally, that artist must go through your label. Mm -hmm. Say, listen, we want to collaborate with this artist on your label, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Let me give you an example. You know Outcast, right? Yes. Outcast. Andre 3000 and Big Boy. Mm -hmm. Two members in one group. When they went to their separate ways as individual artists, like being and Kobiche. Kobiche was signed by another record label. I was signed by another record label. We are friends. It's because of circumstances that's why we went our separate ways. Right. When we went our separate ways, I wanted to do a collaboration with Kobiche. We actually did it. Guess what? His label did not approve. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it must go through a certain process. Right. Your label must actually accept that. Let's say, okay, we approve, blah, 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 because it's commercial. Once the person is on the label. Once the person on the label, there's a, there's a spreadsheet that must be blah, 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 blah. So the right. label must actually approve. Mm -hmm. my, my qualm with Kwame Eugene is how he went about it. Okay. Let's also be fair. Kwame Eugene has a communication problem. Fact. The things he said about his, his father's, his, he has like eight people looking, all, all acting Even as his dad. Record label what he said about Group Nation. Nation. Mm -hmm. Recently, what he said about um, when he showed on UT, he's, he's all about the place when it comes to his communication skills. Mm -hmm. And so that must be checked. But based on principle, he did nothing wrong. Now okay. let me come to which You see, eh? before any entity would release a statement, it means that issue is a very serious matter. You don't just come out and issue a release. Mm -hmm. It must be you are addressing a very critical matter. Me, I do not know how how links guys judge what a serious matter is and what a non-serious matter right. is. Right. But as far as I'm concerned, this matter did not need a release. It's two artists having disagreement on a collaboration. Mm -hmm. It didn't have to take Richie to take A4 sheet to that five and write plenty. Because it is okay. <laughs> so, but I mean, probably they, f they figure that it is a serious matter that right. they need to address. So, I can't give them, I can't really bash them. Mm. But for me, I felt. But, but somebody would ask, Kobe, shouldn't Kwame Eugene also be looking beyond Link's Entertainment? And that's uh, one point that Guru made that you're, you're not going to be at Link's forever. Now, I like the fact that I don't say that in principle, I mean, he's right. But in looking at a bigger picture, I mean, we have uh, established the fact that he has a communication uh, issue. 
which links knows the facts and they know some of the utterances Kwame mm -hmm. Eugene has made and so they need to really rectify that problem mm -hmm. now you go for an interview and they ask you similar to that same question he was on what platform and they ask him are you going to feature guru because of guru and which is a relationship over the years and he said that guru is from Dakuman and he is from uh, Fadama and so he respects Guru so much. Guru is a legend and he, he, he took inspiration from him. Mm -hmm. And so if he needs a collaboration, he's ready to do it. Mm -hmm. Or probably if he passes through Lynx Entertainment, he's going to get it. Right. So exactly, I was expecting him to... Full stop. stop. Have ended it. Right. I was expecting him. So that was a, like a previous interview he had. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the next interview, you will ask the same question because when you come on a platform, I'll ask you certain question yeah, which is similar to yeah. what is like exactly. And you go on the next interview, you ask you a similar question, and then you throw it off. And so in the bigger picture, you shall just just, just pass through the process. I respect Guru yeah. and, and all that. I think the, the previous one was a beautiful answer, yes, quite mature. Exactly. Right? And so I don't know what really, I don't know, mm. but I mean that's quite um, unfortunate for. Uh, quite illusion. I think that uh, links and interview must really check that. And like he said again, with regards to uh, Rich Mesa and the whole links and coming out with press release. Yeah. And again, Richie said that this is the first time he's coming out. There has been a lot of cases that Richie was supposed to come out that he didn't come out. Mm -hmm. So for this particular one with Richie and Guru, I mean, it was just so. It, I was honestly for me, I was shocked that I saw him coming out. Yeah. And even with his explanation, I don't want to go there. But if I if I have to go there, a lot of question marks because mm -hmm. you said. Guru approached and you denied. Yes, Guru. I think he said Guru wanted that. KD or Kwame Uji, yes. and you, you denied. So mm. why do you deny that collaboration? Mm. And Kanesa asked him. Yeah, mm. he denied because in, he, Guru, according to which Guru mm. has been going on, on back and forth on review, bad mouthing him, bad mouthing him because he was on VGMA board and did not mm. allow or did not approve for his songs to be win awards. Blah blah blah. blah so blah, at this point, was he? Convinced because yeah. later in the uh, uh, address, right he said that I don't have any issue, never. And we're so like, that, that's why it was on. And again, to the bottom, issue. he said that mm. let's preach unity. Yeah. Okay. And to the last phrase, he said that go your way, let me go your way. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I wish I could read the entire statement. It's not, it's not, it's not needed. It was, it was not necessary. <laughs> right. Was really okay. Um, funny face, guys. <laughs> um, there's a, there's actually a video out where but let's see the video of of funny face 